Hey yo, this is Wan, and welcome back to my channel. This time, we're gonna take a look at this custom mechanical keyboard from our lab. It is named Spring. Our lab is famous for its jelly epoch and the recently released Mr. Suit. Both have its own unique features and cult followers. Not forgetting, both is considered as one of the best custom mechanical keyboard to get if you are in this rabbit hole. This time around, our lab is going for a more unique layout. Not only you have a split layout, it is also more affordable than the company's previous keyboard. This keyboard will cost you for around 350 US dollar to 400 US dollar during the group buy. Although it may count as affordable to some, but to me, it is still leaving a dent in my wallet. And this keyboard is not sponsored. I bought this with an aftermarket price tag and with my own money. Looking at the board, it uses the Alice style layout. This layout is not your typical everyday layout. It is one of the most popular ergonomic layouts out there while featuring a space that separates the board visually into two halves with the key extending outward in a wingspan shaped form. Basically, this layout is forcing users to position their hands and wrists to reduce the strain on the muscles. While visually pleasing, the typing experience is an acquired taste. Some really love the typing experience using this Alice layout while some experience the difficulty of adjusting to the unusual layout. So, this layout is definitely not for everyone, or you may need some time to get used to the layout. Let's talk about the premium features of this keyboard. I can't help but notice the PBD stainless steel weight right away. There's two different finishing on this stainless steel weight. The inside section of the weight spots a brush finishing. There's also a large spring logo on it. Although this is the inside of the board, which you can't really see when this build is finished, it is still something to take a note at. While on the outside, or at the bottom of the board, it uses a PBD finishing. Just in case you don't have a mirror to check your hair, Fret not, Spring has it all covered. In my opinion, both finishing looks cool and has its own unique looks to it. There's also a spring logo on the backside of the stainless steel weight. This keyboard is using a new leaf spring mounting style which introduced a more open sound signature if compared to our lab previous release, the Jelly Epoch and Mr. Suit. I guess this is where the keyboard got its name from. Apart from that, our lab claimed that this new mounting style will provide super flexy and bouncy typing experience. Yes, they definitely not bluffing around, it is super bouncy. There are around 8 leaf spring which is more than enough to support the plate and yet still provide a soft and bouncy typing experience. As far as I know, this is the first keyboard that features this kind of mounting approach. Enough of this gibberish talk, let's get on to this shall we? The spring comes bundled in a carrying case. In 2022, it's quite a norm for a custom mechanical keyboard to include a carrying case with a kit, even for an entry level board. Well, this keyboard is not excluded. First, let's briefly see what is included with the kit and I'll go into details over each of the items later in this video. This is what's included with the kit. An accessory pack, a bunch of foam which consists of plate foam, PE foam and a case foam, PCB, a plate, oh wait, almost forgot, there's also a top screwdriver included and this one is a nice looking screwdriver. Moving on, this is what the keyboard looks like out of the box. Let's take a moment to cherish this. Inside the accessory pack, there's an all steps included. I never had a chance to try these steps before, but from what I've heard, it's kinda good. You got a LED diffuser, a bag of screw, and some foot pads. Basically, I'll let include all the things you need to get started, minus the keycaps and the switch. Now, let's take a closer look at the PCB. Oh man, this is the first thing that comes to my mind when looking at this PCB. The flat scars on this PCB is no joke. Plus, it's a 1.2mm PCB. Judging by the looks of it, it will definitely provide a bouncy typing feel. This PCB uses a hot swap socket which is made from kale, and it is in north facing configuration. The J1 connector or the daughter board connector is located in the middle at the back side of the board. And you can see the LED on the left side of the PCB. This is the only source of lighting you get for this keyboard. It's always nice to see a PCB in this made black colorway. 
with a touch of copper, it makes it look more premium. There's an outlet branding located at the bottom side of the PCB, and this PCB can be remapped using VR and Vial. Let's move on to the plate. There's a couple of plate variations to choose from. Aluminium, FR4, Polycarbonate, and Palm. For this configuration, I choose the FR4 plate. Same as the PCB, there's a flex cut all over this plate to allow more bouncy typing experience. The plate comes in two separate units, one for the left side and one for the right side. Next is the foam. There's a total of three foam bundles with the kit. A plate foam, a PE foam, and a case foam. At this point, we already know that PE foam will render all bots and switches to sounds the same. Even so, I would recommend it to install this PE foam when building this kit. So yeah, the plate foam and the case foam is made from power run. And lastly, the case itself. There are a total of 15 colorway for this keyboard. Yes, you've heard it right, a total of 15. Mine is the baby powder silver, the baby powder for the case, and silver for the stainless steel weight. The side profile of this keyboard is also something to look at. And did I mention this keyboard is quite hefty? Once you put this on your desk, it won't budge even for a slightest bit. Whatever it is, man, it's super duper gorgeous. Here's a quick typing test on how this keyboard sounds. In this configuration, all foam is used and I'm using the famous TX steps, a rocking with loop and film KTT Kang white switch. Take a listen. So, what do I think of this keyboard? The keyboard itself is superb. The build quality of this keyboard is just stellar. With the PVD finishing stainless steel weight, the brushed metal finishing, with the spring logo on it, that small details, it brings a huge impact on the looks of this board. Although, be mindful that the PVD finishing is not finger friendly. It will smudge easily. Else, everything about this board is screaming quality. And the board is just something nice to look at. It is aesthetically pleasing in any way. As for the typing feel, it is claimed to be by our lab, super flexy and bouncy. This is due to the crazy amount of flex cuts on the PCB and the new mounting style. I haven't tried Jelly Epoch or Suit before, but I guess the typing feel is around the same level. In terms of sound profile, I find that this board produces a more open sound compared to our lab previous release. Although I've used all the foam provided, it still has this slight resonant sound. Don't get me wrong, it's not high pitch or pinging in any way. I guess that's the only gripe I have about this part. Apart from that, it still maintains that outlet marbly sound signature, which in my sense, is good. Okay now, let's talk about the layout. This is my first ever Alice layout keyboard that I own and type for more than one day. I found that the layout is quite confusing at first because I'm used to typing on a conventional layout keyboard. However, after some time, I'm getting used to the ergonomic that this keyboard provided. I already mentioned this earlier, this layout is definitely not for everyone. Some may enjoy the ergonomic layout and some may hate it. To me, typing on Alice layout is a new experience and something you need to try it for yourself. If you are in the market for Alice layout keyboard, this keyboard is definitely need to be on the list. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. And last but not least, I want to thank you guys for watching this video till the end. And thanks for the support on this channel. And I'm Izwan, signing off. Ciao! and Assalamualaikum.